Hey everyone, it's Monday morning and uh, I felt like the Holy Spirit was speaking to me about making a video regarding churches and more specifically how my family and I, we kind of made a lot of mistakes uh, involving churches and how we went about finding a church. So if I'm going to get right to the point, here's what I, I would say. You can't get everything that you need from one place. There's no way. If you're depending on your church, like one pastor, um, just everything that your church has to offer, which could be anything from not much at all to a lot of different things, if you're depending on that one source, you're really limiting yourself and you're going to be disappointed. And in order to grow you really need to make your Christian life, it has to be all encompassing, like from the music that you listen to, to the people that you're, I mean, you want to reach people for Christ, obviously, but the people that you're having conversations with, um, you need to be in fellowship with people, you need to be in classes. And to hear myself say this, I can't believe it. Because many years ago, many years ago, I was like so antisocial, you would never find me in a class with other Christians. It would just never happen. So for me to make sit here and make this video saying this is just like, man, he's really brought me a long way. <laughs> but we did the whole church shopping, church hopping, and we made it about so many things that just didn't even matter. And so once you start incorporating things, like get on YouTube, uh, Pastor Charles Stanley, um, I'll put some of the people that I listen to in the description because that's not going to come to my mind right away. Um, very influential, Pastor David Jeremiah, that really fed my spirit. So I would be out in the garden listening, doing dishes, household chores, just taking it all in. You, you need to really constantly be taking all of that in and reading your Bible and um, all these things. It's not just going to church and getting hearing a sermon and then you're good for another week. Oh man, I would never, that would never be enough for me. So that's just what I wanted to put out there. You can't possibly get it from one source. And that's what we did. That's what we were looking for. And we were being so ridiculous. And it led us to just stop going to church altogether. Which is the ultimate worst thing. And that's what the enemy, that's his tactic. That's what he wants is for you to leave the church. You know, uh, you disagree with the pastor on a, on a sermon or you have an issue with this person over here. The enemy loves, loves to do that. He loves to get in there and, um, what's the word I'm looking for? He likes to divide people. Uh, so yeah, I like to think that those, that wouldn't happen anymore, but he still tries. He still tries to divide and um, conquer and divide in the church. And it's the ideal place for him to do that because that's where all the work is taking place. That's where a lot of things are happening, um, really great things uh, that are happening. And so you definitely want to be a part of that. And um, so this is just a quick video. And mm, if there's anything else I want to add, you know, uh, I might add it at the end or something as I'm editing, but that's the main point. Just um, don't make the mistake that we made. Um, feed your spirit with other sources within the Christian community. And as I said, YouTube was a really good place for me to do that. And even other churches, you know, we've been to other churches where not one church, I've said this before, not one church has everything. So expose yourself to other messages from other churches um, and other sources and have conversations with people that are in the faith. Um, so anyway, that's my, my two cents for today. Hope you all have a blessed week and um, we'll talk to you all soon. All right. Love to everyone.